Hello everyone, uh, thank you for coming back and watching some of our videos. It's John from Praetorian here, just with a really quick video to highlight uh, a really nice little feature of our SimpliWorks range, which is using it with Grid3 from Smartbox. SimpliWorks, if you're unaware of what SimpliWorks is, um, the title gives you a clue. It's SimpliWorks, so it's our wireless configuration range for a lot of different purposes, a lot of different outputs, um, and they simply work. They're very easy to set up and very easy to get going. I'm going to show you a little bit of an easy uh, hints and tips around using this, but actually once you get set up, it's kind of all down to you to personalize as you go. So to get set up straight away, we need to connect our receive and our send and our switch. So we have our input device and our send and our receive here. I'm going to go with the receive two today, but you can use any of our receivers. Plug that in straight away, you get the auditory prompt to say the USB device is received and obviously no, no drivers required, plug and play straight away, you're straight away working with our devices as always. All we do to get it paired is we press the pair button there, you get a red flashing light, we've got our send with our switch plugged in, we press pair there and we're paired straight away. The only thing you need to consider before you do anything else is just make sure the mode that you're on is zero. So that's the first mode, as that's the gamepad one, and that's what we require for Smartbox uh, Grid 3. So we're all set up with regards to the hardware. Now we just need to double check the, the Grid 3 software itself is set up for use. So we go into our settings, and what we need to do in our settings is have a look at these the access menu, which I'm already in there, but the access menu allows you a lot of different options for your use of your, your grid sets there. Uh, we'll go into switches, and you can see it's on switch scanning already, but you can have a little uh, play around with different options in there, such as switch joystick, etc. But if we go into activation, you get all these different options where you can select which ways it scans and, 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 and sort of different sort of timings, etc. But all we want to do here for ourselves is just to double check that by pressing we had the switch go green there. So that's connected up and it's working fine. So once we get that sorted, we're on zero, which means it's gamepad one, so it's activate. And we can get going straight away. The settings that I've got set up requires that once I press the button, you're scanning straight away. So there we go. And it's as simple as once you're in uh, a grid set, you get your scanning grids like that. And I'll show you how to, how to set up a sentence straight away. So it's as easy as just letting it scroll across. And then we'll get a little sentence going as well. And then once we've got our sentence, we just need to go to the speak button on the bottom right there. So we'll wait for that to cycle across and obviously we can speed this up, we can change the way it looks, we can slow it down if we need to. Where is the doll? And then you get it talking back to you, the, the sentence you've set up. But if you wanted to have another switch involved, and that could be wired with our Sen6, or it could be a wireless switch, it is really simple to set this up so that your second switch could be the speak button. So all we need to do is pair our switch first of all. So I've got a wireless switch here. Press the pair button again so it's flashing red, and then press pair on the back here. And you get the P on the switch there. Now, what we need to do in here is change the mode. So we need to change the mode. It's currently on zero. As you can see, it starts scanning in the background because it thinks that this is scanning as well. We just change the mode. And if we change it to number eight, so I cycle all the way through to number eight there, that's become the enter button. So if I just quickly uh, stop this as we go, and I just uh, delete this down and start again, what we've got now is this button is pressing enter as though it's covering the enter button on the keyboard. This button is our scanning switch. So all we're going to do is just quickly double check our settings and just change one little little fine thing in the settings and that's around speech. So you've got your man, woman, whatever you set up that does the speech and replies back. What you need to do is you need to make sure that the setting sentences, speak as you type sentences, is turned on. So that's a little bit of a tip for you there, a little bit of a trick. Once that's turned on, essentially when you get to the end of whatever you want to say, that will press enter, and therefore it'll be the end of the sentence, and it will play it back. So let's see that in action. So we'll go, where is there? And this time we'll go, doll's house. 
So we're happy with that. We don't need to scan anymore. And we don't need to scan here because if I press enter, where is the doll's house? So it's as easy as that. You just need to make sure that the settings are set up so that at the end of the sentence, it will uh, speak, speak whatever you've set up there in the speech settings menu and you're away. So that's two switches using grid three. You can easily navigate around and set up some sentences and away you go. All right, thanks for watching. Just keep an eye out for other Simply Works videos where we'll be showing off different settings and how easy it is to get going with Simply Works with toys, with appliances, and everything else that Simply Works allows us to gain access to. Thank you very much. Take care.